Starting out in chess, you often learn the four-move checkmate or scholar's mate. We've all fallen for the back rank checkmate, and you may have also learned the smothered checkmate. Let's go a bit deeper and learn some of the more interesting checkmate combinations in chess. We are going to look at several checkmates with many different names. Don't worry if you can't remember them all. Just try to enjoy and learn the checkmate patterns we explore. One of the earliest checkmates in the history of chess is the Arabian checkmate, when the rook and the knight join forces to checkmate the king in the corner, like this. In this position, white is down a lot of material, and black is ready to checkmate on the next turn with queen h2. Can you find an Arabian mate that will save white from this difficult position? If you found knight f6 check, great job. White forces black's king into the corner with king h8, and the rook delivers checkmate with rook takes h7. Checkmate. A checkmate that is easy to overlook is Bowden's mate. Black just castled queenside, thinking that the king would be safe. Notice that black's king cannot move as the dark squares are covered by the bishop on f4. If black didn't have a pawn on b7, white would be able to deliver checkmate with bishop a6. Can you see how white can force the b7 pawn to move and deliver checkmate? That's right, with the incredible queen sacrifice, queen takes c6 check. Black is forced to capture the queen with b takes c6, opening up the diagonal for Bowden's mate with bishop a6. Checkmate. White's two bishops work together to checkmate the enemy king. Let's take a look at another mating idea. When a king has two of its own pieces directly next to it on the same rank, this can create an epaulette mate. White delivers checkmate with queen e6. Checkmate. In this position, American master Paul Morphy has the white pieces. White is threatening g7, trapping black's rook on h8. Black's best choice is to take the rook on f3, but black doesn't sense the danger in the position and plays h takes g6. Assuming that Morphy must now move the queen that is under attack, but white now unleashes the epaulette mate. Can you see it? Morphy begins the combination with rook f8 check, forcing queen takes f8. And after rook takes f8 check, rook takes f8, now both of black's rooks block the king's escape, allowing the epaulette mate with queen g6. Checkmate. The swallow's tail mate is similar to the epaulette mate, but this time the king that will be checkmated has two pieces blocking it from behind, one diagonal square each. White delivers checkmate after queen e6. Can you find the swallow's tail mate in this position? White can blast open black's defenses with rook takes g7 check, forcing king takes g7, and white delivers the swallow's tail mate with queen g6. Checkmate. Black's king cannot escape the checkmate because the two rooks block its path. This checkmate is named after the American master Paul Morphy, known as the Morphy's mate. It's a nice combination of bishop and rook. It begins with rook takes g7 check, forcing the black king to h8, where the king is now lined up with white's rook and dark squared bishop. After rook takes f7 check, white discovers the bishop's check against the king, forcing king g8. White's rook delivers another check with rook g7 check, forcing the king into the corner once again with king h8. Black's king returns to the discovered check square, allowing white to play the discovered check, rook g5. Black is forced to block the check with rook f6, when white delivers checkmate after bishop takes f6. Anastasia's mate is a tricky checkmate where a knight prevents the king from escaping a file by covering its diagonal moves. In this case, g1 and g3. With white's king trapped on the h-file, Black delivers checkmate with rook h4. In this seemingly quiet position, can you see how white can quickly end the game with Anastasia's checkmate? If you found knight e7 check, 
Great job. The knight forces the black king to the h-file after king h8. White now blasts open the h-file with the queen sacrifice, queen takes h7 check. Forcing king h7. White's knight prevents the king from escaping the h-file and delivers Anastasia's mate with rook h3. Blackburn's mate is truly a team effort. White's dark squared bishop is on the long diagonal and is joined by the light squared bishop on the b1 to h7 diagonal, pointing directly at Black's castled king. White's knight is posted on g5, and White's queen is ready to rip open lines. Blackburn's mate begins with the powerful queen sacrifice, queen takes h5. White's queen joins the knight to threaten checkmate on h7, and at the same time connects with the dark squared bishop to threaten checkmate on h8. This means that if black captures the knight with bishop takes g5, white delivers checkmate with queen h8. After accepting white's queen with g takes h5, black is now checkmated after bishop h7. Let's take a look at one more checkmate pattern together. Damiano's mate is one of the most spectacular checkmates in chess. In this position, Black is about to get checkmated on the A-file. Black has a dream if the queen could somehow get to the H2 square, the position would be checkmate. This dream can come true if Black knows Damiano's mate, which involves a double rook sacrifice. Black begins the combination with rook H1 check. White's king is forced to accept the rook sacrifice with king takes H1. Black continues the attack with rook H8 check. And after king g1, black sacrifices the second rook with rook h1 check, forcing white to play king takes h1. The two rooks are sacrificed to clear open the queen's path to attack white's king with queen h8 check. And after king g1, black concludes Damiano's mate with queen h2 checkmate. Now that you've learned some of the most fun checkmates in chess, can you play these checkmates yourself? Let's see.